Yeah. yeah. Just that last, like that last pass that came like right by my face. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> so we are out here at the track, Willow Springs Raceway at the Horse Thief Mile. We've got some badass motorcycle riders that are they're gonna ride some awesome equipment. We just did a couple test runs with the five inch drone and then we switched over and did the first run with the Money Shot Mini with the Komodo. Uh, it's looking real spicy. We're, it's like the pacing is good. We're gonna be able to get down, get low on the track and get in there and get some really cool fast motion shots. So we're here at Willow Springs Raceway with drone dudes. They are pushing the FPV side of their business by not just doing heavy lift drones like Inspire 2s and Alta X and all that stuff, but also get a lot more in the FPV side of things. So they've got a Money Shot Mini that's attached to the truck. We're going to kind of do a shakedown today, get some early shots, get some test shots of these awesome looking bikes. And that's going to be a good first step into continuing to build the drone dudes FPV reel. So we're taking a look at the footage for the first time from that run where you got the red plugged into the whole system. So I'm doing a quick watch back on the 24 FPS. Oh, baby. Let's get right in on him. I'm going to, I want to do that, but get a little bit closer on the first approach. I, I mean, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, especially with the 24 FPS. Like it just looks so fast. Everything kind of fades away to the horizon. You can see like the track in the background. That looks really good. I really like the lack of stabilization too. Yeah, me gives too. it that actiony feel, you know. It's just all those micro corrections. That was fire right that there. That was incredible. Yeah. Looks like a video game. Yeah, that's the turn. This is such a cool turn. Damn, bro. This is great. Getting used to yep. it being there and the sound. Because obviously I'm like too focused. Yeah, the only thing you hear is the drone, probably out there. Yeah. But it doesn't bother me at all. Like I'm used to that. Good. And I'll exaggerate a couple of turns and things like that, especially when I hear you and I know you're there. Yeah, 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 for sure. So trying to get in front. I'm into that. It's pretty spice. I saw you making that move. I was real excited about it. <laughs> yeah. And this is like so. This is again where I'm trying to kind of get underneath you in the lean here. Yeah. This, Just a little I bit. I love this shot. Oh, yeah, that's a rad spot. I'm like leaning over, trying to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to do more of those kind of meet up shots where it's like you're coming like even like the opposite direction. Yeah. I'll just stay to one side and we'll kind of. This guy's a pro, man. Even the pros are calling him a pro. <laughs> yeah, I I might be starting to struggle for speed on that very back straight. Yeah. Um, it's definitely where it's. But not like, about. not too much. I mean the bike the bike is really hitting it. I mean, especially when he's way into it and stuff like that, it slows down and it's. Yeah. Yeah, that's some that's some good stuff. We're prepping for battery number three on the Money Shot Mini. Battery number two, chasing bikes. It's going great. We just looked at the first shots. They look spicy. Looks like we know what we're doing. It's so nice to have this set up rather than, uh, you know, just me and Winston out the back of the Tesla trying to <laughs> chase it around in the parking lot. This is it. Like, these guys are actually badass. On today's video, you're getting upgraded from a Tesla chase in an empty construction parking lot <laughs> to a electric motorcycle. On a world-renowned yeah, racetrack. Like Tesla chase footage. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, but yeah. it was... <laughs> We're just throwing something together, that's all man. That's we can do. Dude, sometimes that's how it is. You gotta, you gotta make the best of what you got. I, I, can't, I can't believe that nobody from the construction site was like, yo, get out of here. I have okay. Like, I Watch. Clear.
This shit with in, yo, it's all mad risky Next time we we'll do kind of the same thing, just with a different drone. Yep, that's. I think that's. Yeah, the I think you just ride the same way, and I mean, you know, this next drone that's coming up is not going to be like in your tailpipe the whole time. It's going to be more like counter moves and kind of high wides, just things that are going to intercut with this other kind of footage. Okay. To that I don't end. mind the super close stuff either. Okay. Yeah. Like, don't worry about me. Okay. You can get a foot from my face. I'd be fine. Okay. Cool. It's it's until I get less than a foot from your face though. That's the <laughs> <value>. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're. I think we're at the limit that we need to be. Okay, so cool. We're, yeah, we're looking good. All right. Yeah. All right, so let's go. Let's try the same thing. Yep. He's got another S coming up. I'm going to try to pull him to the outside. And I'm going to try to stay a little wider. Okay, keep talking to me. Your control of the gimbal is here. Anytime you want to roll or cut, it's this button right here behind BC. Okay. That right there. All right. And then anytime that the gimbal gets out of whack and you need to put it back to the center, you're going to go like this. BA. BA. Okay. Uh -huh. And actually, I'm going to switch one thing. I'm going to put us on a little wider lens to make it really easy. And we're going to get some nice wide scenics of like the whole track and the bikes going by. We'll probably be, even be able to get both bikes together, which will look really nice. That's cool. Rolling, watch it. I was gonna say we should have stuck a GoPro guy. on you. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. that that angle would have been insane. That's pretty mean. Yeah, next time, cool. the next time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, even over the motor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just that last, like that last pass that came like right by my face. It's like holy crap. <laughs> yeah, there was one time I was coming around a corner and it came right up here and I was all, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> it was cool though, I like it. It makes it, I mean, it's already exciting as it is, so like it just heightens the excitement yeah. of having this like thing following you all around, like now, I've done a lot of film stuff before with car, with camera cars and they're like right in your face as you're doing everything. Yeah. So it's just a different experience with the sound because you're focused and coming through all the turns so you have this. <laughs> well, I had another like scary moment, and I and I noticed like the big drone was on me. Like, I dug in again on that last turn, oh, yeah. and I looked up, and it was right there. I'm like shaking my head, looking at the drone. Like, <laughs> we saw that, and the, the video went out like right before that, and ah. it came back, and you're shaking your head. I was like, what yeah. happened? Yeah, no, I I, I almost dumped it. I was I was just thinking that as we were riding, I think this is the first time I've ever ridden my own bike on a track. Really stoked for Zero to get Zero some content. Yeah. Um, Croy, get awesome. Just good partners, you know? Yeah. Albine and then stars. seeing your guys' skills, woo! It's a whole other level of control. 
but we do our thing, but yeah. that's a whole other world. <laughs> um, hey, I'm Pat Flynn. Uh, I work with Zero Motorcycles and uh, also run my own um, cafe racer website called The Bullet. So it was great to get out on track and play around with the Zero and on my personal Triumph here. And um, really fun shooting with the drone dudes. And if you want to catch up with me, you can follow me at, at Patrick Plynn um, or The Bullet. And it's B-U-L-L-I-T-T. -T. And uh, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, guys. It's a fun day at the track. We had I Justine, we had Drone Dudes, we had Nurk, we had Winston, and we had Kroig uh, bringing the motorcycles. Uh, and man, it was, a, it was an amazing day. Got some incredible, unique footage uh, by some professionals out there. Luckily, we were able to bring out some uh, professional riders, some incredible bikes. Big thanks to Zero Motorcycles, uh, letting us use their track bike, uh, take it for a test run at uh, Willow Springs. Um, and if you want to check out some of this footage uh, and the things that we're doing with motorcycles, uh, check out Kroig.co. Did you see us on the camera or something? Was that fun? Yeah, did you, did you see us on the little uh, camera thing? I mean the little... Uh, they didn't follow us on the drone. <laughs> Sorry. No, it does. How was oh that, buddy? Oh my god! The tip of my fingers feel numb. <laughs> I'm holding on. Oh yeah. That was the fun, whole huh, time. buddy? <laughs> so we were all wrapped up for the day. We only had the track until noon, but I think we maximized every single minute of it. We had the city lifter out. We had the DJI FPV drone. We got the Inspire, both uh, like dual op. We had. Justine flew her quad, like it was a pretty intense day. This is a packed day of drone flying, that's for sure. Well, I hope that you guys will let me come back sometime to try oh, yeah. it again, get a little bit better on the sticks, and I'll keep doing stuff, I'll keep working on the FPV as You're well. You're welcome anytime. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching. It's been an awesome day. Stay flying.